Greetings ladies and gents, Illusion from Heathen Sin here, welcome to my channel. So today we have got a, I guess you could say a comparison between Paco Rabanne Invictus Victory and, it's a kind of a funny one, but um, Lynx, or should I say Axe, Dark Temptation. Yeah, Dark Temptation. Um, I guess you got a deodorant compared to out of par farm spray um fragrance whatever anyway so this only sort of like came up really because of the fact that once i actually did the review on this thing i put it up you know etc etc and then after a few days i sort of thought of put it up at like a post on uh let me see it was aussie fragrance a lounge facebook group and um, some people have actually, like, you know, like, when I posted that, they already had their nose on the victory, and, you know, they liked it quite a bit, and they also mentioned that it smells quite a bit like Dark Temptation. Now, I've never actually smelt this one before, like, I mean, I do wear uh, deodorant, obviously, you know, you got to smell fresh, everything like that, but I've, I don't know, I haven't, like, smelt or been into sort of Lynx or Axe fra fragrances, deodorants, like since I was a teenager. So I thought, you know what? Go out, buy this one today, see how it goes, you know, compare the two. Um, so this is going to be my first smell of this. Anyway, before we get on to the video, uh, I'd like to thank my subscribers. I hope you're liking the content so far and people who have not subscribed yet, please subscribe. There will be a lot more fragrant videos coming to you soon, just like this. Anyway, let's get on to the smelling of both of these. So, obviously we'll start off with the Invictus Victory. So, obviously I smelt it before, I reviewed this. So if you want to go check out that video, I'll link it in the description below or, you know, I'll, maybe I'll put like a card up over here or whatever, just link to that video or even at the end. So, smell this, you know, it's got that sort of like chocolatey nuance at the bottom, sort of coming nicely through the vanilla there and you've got the citruses at the top. Absolutely beautiful. I love this fragrance, you know, definitely perfect for winter cold weather night etc etc now let's give a first try of this lynx or axe dark temptation so keep forgetting that deodorants spray quite a bit and i think i just over sprayed my arm anyway Ooh. all right okay so Close, close, close. Okay, what am I getting? Obviously, you got like that bright citrus at the top and everything like that. It's definitely that little bit more airy. This one's more dark and chocolatey. So I can see what some people are saying in terms of actually having it smell very, well, not quite similar, but it, the DNA is very close it is very close you got that chocolatey sort of base and i actually quite like that to be honest you know for like a body spray that's pretty good um you know what i mean you can definitely make some comparisons there you know i <laughs> who knows what like the perfumer for this fragrance was you know like thinking or at least what paco barnes um creative director was thinking when they actually wanted this Invictus Flink and maybe they thought hey you know I want something like Dark Temptation but make it a bit classier a little bit brighter a little bit more classy a little bit more elegant you know something a little bit different from the Invictus line but I'd make it more mass appealing I mean obviously something like Dark Temptation you know you're gonna have more teenagers onto stuff like this you know probably gonna love it because it's nice and sweet or anything like that mass appealing why the hell not? Quite like this, but I'll be honest, I think these can actually be worn together. So if anything, this could be like a good opportunity almost for like layering, you know, and also, you know, 
be a good way to sort of go, okay, well, you know, uh, I don't exactly smell the best. So how about use some of this Lynx Dark Temptation, you know, cover it up, makes yourself smell nice and sweet and a little bit fresh there. And then, yeah, layer on top, you know, spray your usual here, there, everywhere, all that sort of stuff. Wish you Invictus Victory, you know, and you get like that sort of nice dark chocolatey sort of, you know, smell from the Lynx or the Axe, and then you get this. So it'd be a good combination, I think. I don't know, like, you know, if you got this one, or if you got that one, you know, buy the other, give it a try, see how it goes, you know? I mean, this one, geez, I don't even remember how much like it costs anyway, but like, I'll leave the price somewhere up over here on the screen. And then this one actually cost me $7 Australian from the supermarket, Woolworths to be exact. Not like anyone overseas would know what that is. Maybe back in the day, I remember apparently Woolworths used to be in the US or something like that, like ages ago. But anyway, um, yeah, give us a try with it. See how it goes, you might quite like it, you know? So try that combination. Otherwise, that's been, I guess you could say, a comparison review of these two. If anything, I guess a good tip of pseudo layering or, you know, had that combination together. Take care of yourselves, guys. I hope you have a great day. Please like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification bell for more fragrant videos like this straight to your feed. I hope you're all doing well. Blessed be to you all, and I'll see you in the next video.